Hello, welcome back. Uh, it is Wednesday, April 15th. So I'm going to go over yesterday's question. Yesterday's question was a kind of an easy one, but the questions coming up are going to be a little bit more difficult. But before we get into that, let's look at this one. So we have Bobby who drove 110 miles and his car used up five gallons of gas. How many miles can he drive with 16 gallons of gas? So if I look, I've got 110 miles, five gallons, 16 gallons. So for this one, we have a pretty simple equation that we're gonna set up. We have 110 over five equals X over 16. So I'm gonna go and cross multiply. Let me get my change of color here real quick. So you know that I really enjoy cross multiplying. I like to look at uh, reciprocals and I like to look at uh, multiplying across um, if the numbers work out nicely. But with this one, I'm like, I don't know how many times evenly five can go into 16. So I'm gonna go with cross multiplying instead. So that gives me five X equals 16 times 110, which is, get my thing back there, 16 times 110, which is 1,760. And if you notice, uh, my writing has gotten a little bit better because I went out and I bought a pen and pad. So I'm still experimenting with them. So if it looks like the, um, the marker is going all over the place, it's, I'm still working with this. So I'm going to divide both sides by five. So five divided by five leaves me with one, and one x is just represented as x. Seven, 1,760 divided by five is 352. Now I go back up into my question. Bobby drove 110 miles and his car used up five gallons of gas. How many miles can he drive with 16 gallons of gas? So if I just put this X equals 352, I would be almost correct, but not 100%. I need to add, I need to add my units and it's 352 miles, not 352 pickles or 352 gallons, 352 miles because we are young adults. And so we need to know not only the correct answer, but the correct units. So if you got 352 miles yesterday, good job. I'm going to clear all the drawings, move on to today's question, starring none other than Dante. Now Dante paid $150 to join a tennis club. He pays an additional $15 every time he uses one of the club's courts. Write an equation that describes Dante's total cost for playing tennis as a function of the number of times he plays. Let's C equal the total cost and N equal the number that of times that he plays. Now, I'm gonna go in, I know I have, I'm gonna circle my numbers first and foremost. And so I've got 150 and 15. But I also have these two given variables. They tell us which variables to use because if I go back, I circle, and then if I underline my question, I underline it in blue. If I underline, we are to write an equation that describes Dante's total cost for playing tennis as a function of the number of times he plays. So we know that when we come down here, you're not going to find an answer. It's not asking you to find like the total cost for blank. It's asking you to write an equation. And it, we know it's going to be C equals something times N. So total cost, so if he, if he played 35 times, this is gonna ask you what the total cost. Now, if I look up here, I have $150 to join and then an additional $15 every time. So I know that I'm going to be adding something. 
I also know that I'm going to be, I'm going to be multiplying by something that is paid. 150 tells me he's adding, he started out paying $150. And then every time he plays, that he pays an extra $15. So that is a number that is going to change depending on how many times he plays. That 150 stays constant, which is why it's called a constant. It does not, that $150 does not change. That was the flat fee. But depending on how many times he plays, he might play once, he might play twice, he might play three times. Every time he pays, plays, he pays an extra $15. So you need to write an equation that will show us the total cost based on the number of times he plays. So with that, good luck. I'm going to come back up here. So like always, if you have any questions, please come and find me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.